you're welcome back to our youtube channel sewing with sewing so today we're going to be learning how to make the rosettes with without using crinoline and we're going to be using organza this is our organza fabric we're also going to be using, using a little bit of the lace okay this is the lace that we're going to be using for our base i've already cut it into the shape that we need it for for this particular shape we're going to be using it's four inches by eight inches because we're going to put it around the arm we're going to put it around the arm the lower arm of the blouse the hem of the blouse and the hem of the blouse is seven inches so we're going to have one inch for joining and attaching it to it so we're going to come to the on this part here on this part this is the organza we're folding the organza into two and we're going to make a long strip this organza is six inches wide and you double it we double it so we'll make it as long as possible because you cut it as long as possible as as, as much fabric that you have because you're going to gather the fabric we're going to gather the fabric so as much the, the more gathers you have the more fuller the arm will look so let's just go ahead i'm going to show you when we finish cutting it and when we finish gathering it this is where we're going to gather it here before we now place it eventually on the band here so in making this ruffle sleeves with organza we're not using crinoline for this one basically what we're going to do is that we're going to get a measurement okay of six inches we're going to measure our crinoline will fold it into two, six inches on two sides okay and make a long strip make a very long strip when we make the strip we're going to come here and gather all the edges we'll gather it we'll cut this off okay i'll cut off the excess here okay the excess from the six inches that i've measured i'll cut it off i'll cut it off all to the end then after that We'll now gather, I'll gather all this place. I'll gather it before we put it on a base. I will show you after this. Okay, so I've dragged the gather stitches. We've put the organza, folded it. This is a double folded here. Then this is six inches, as I said. I will now put the gather stitches. Now we're going to drag it and put it, sew it onto this base. This base is what we're going to put on the sleeve. So when we finish gathering it, I will show you before we sew it on. This is the first layer that has been gathered. We won't gather stitches on it. I will gather this up. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do the other sides. We'll go ahead and do the other pieces. And I'll show you before we attach to the band. So as you can see now, I've sewn it on. Can you see? I've sewn it on. Okay onto it i sew the first layer this is on the base i sew the first layer this is where the rough edges is and i now sew the second layer on top if you can see it here i sew the second layer on top to cover the rough edges of the first layer that was what i did i used to cover the first layers rough edges then came to the middle here and top stitched top stitch top stitch out to the end now i'm going to add the third and the fourth layer i hope you can see well i'm going to add the third and the fourth layer i'll add the third layer then put the fourth layer on top put it sew it down then come to the middle like this one and top stitch it down then by the time we finish i'll show you the finished product when we put it on the sleeve thank you if you've not subscribed to our channel please go ahead and subscribe please press on the notification button put your comments and also like our videos thank you we appreciate you so you can see this is the final product it is so beautiful it is so beautiful can you see this is the middle of those two layers this is the second layer that we did okay just make sure that they are close to each other just make sure that it is close to each other you can see it just make sure that it is close to each other okay then this is the band this is the band of it. As you can see, we just did four layers and it has come out looking really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to show you the final product when we attach it to the blouse itself on the mannequin and you will see how beautiful it looks.